what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm Odi J and we are locked in this is day four of five day recaps of the cage on netflix and we just seen taylor get knocked smooth out now from my perspective it looked like taylor wasn't getting back up it was over with cancel the series well we're gonna pick up in this episode and hopefully he can recover because we need to figure out how to save his mom now before we jump into this we break down episode four and we hope that taylor recovers from this if you like mma fighting you like that grit that grind from nothing to something that love story then the cage might be a show for you now remember it is in france but before we jump into it and break it down hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button we're on that road to seventy five thousand subscribers so let's go ahead and jump into it this is the recap episode four of the cage on netflix the medical staff is in here. They're looking at him. Okay. Oh, ooh. Whew. He's responsive. He's all right, guys. We're not sure if this is a concussion or not, but he's all right. Now, boss and Nico, they're standing over him. And when you take a blow like this, he's wondering, where am I at? What time is it? What date is it? What are we doing? Boss kept it real with him. Hey, bro, you got knocked the out. He's sitting here. It's ugly too, but this is what comes with fighting. And remember, boss told him that hey, you need to chill. Well, the first thing Taylor sees when he leaves is Ibrahim on Instagram doing an interview. The destroyer talking about, I told you, the guy was weak. It was a lucky fight between him and I, and if he ever got the ring with me, I would destroy him like my name. That draw was some bull. So Taylor, that concussion, He's kind of leaning away from getting back in that ring, but you know he really wants to. Boss is here to pick him up, and he's probably going to tell him, man, get your mind off of that. Now, what Boss is recommending, you go on the little circuit. You go take fights that you could actually win, and then we build your name up, we build your record up. Then you can go take these big fights. See, what Taylor is trying to do is fast track it. Now, he never had any guidance as far as making it to the pro levels or having an actual coach, manager, for the amateur levels. That's where Boss comes into play. He's like, listen, let's get some matches up under, you know what I'm saying, up under your belt before you go taking on Ibrahim again. You're not ready for that. And Boss told him this when he first met him. Boss takes him over to his mama's house. And when he gets there, Regis is in here, his mom is in here, and they hand him over $33,000. Some money from his sparring with Ibrahim and then some money that he made off his other fights. Now, remember, they owe $40,000, and whoever they owe this money to, they punch Isabella in the face. Now, she just got $33,000 in cash, and she's talking about, oh, this is good. That's a start. Listen, you said you needed $40,000. He gave you thirty three. dollars You two can't come up with $7,000 between the two, but <laughs> neither here or there. Boss is saying, wait a minute. Your son, he's doing everything he can to try to get you this money. Don't treat them like this, but they still want to know who is this person that attacked you guys and are they coming back? Cause we could get you out of here. It's time to get back in the cage and get to training because mom was not impressed with 33,000 out of the 40,000 they need. Everyone's showing love, Elena, Nico, everyone's just happy that he recovered and he's actually back into the cage doing what he wants. Now, when he gets in the cage, things get a little eerie. Once he hears the cage door close, he kind of freaks out. He looks over there. That PTSD is kicking in because the last thing he remembers is going into the ring and them closing it before that elbow knocked his ass out. So it might be too soon for him to get back in this cage. Now, Ibrahim, we know that this match is coming. He's getting focused. He on the speed back. He's like, I'm going to take this kid out, man. He doesn't even know what he got into. He didn't piss me off. Now, of course, his coach is like, you got this champ. This is going to be easy money. We're going to go ahead and wipe him off with this one. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like Taylor's in the right spot right now. And Ibrahim, he's over here going crazy. Boss takes Taylor to go talk to a doctor because after catching a concussion like this, you need medical assistance. You need someone to talk to. Now, the doctor is telling him he should probably take it easy. He should probably cancel any fights that he has coming up because after a blow like that, it's going to be tough. Now, I had a concussion, got a gash right above my eye, so I understand where he's coming from. But he also gives him the rundown of the symptoms of PTSD, flashbacks, waking up, can't sleep, certain things trigger stuff. 
And what does Taylor do? He looks the doctor in the eye and lies and says none of that's happening to him, even though we just seen it in the cage. Taylor lied to Boss about being good to go. It's time for the weigh-in. I'm telling you, Boss has been here before. Boss is like, listen, he's going to try to get in your face. He's the destroyer for a reason. He's going to try to get in your face after the weigh-in. Keep your cool. He has more to lose. But once Ibrahim comes over here, he gets in his face, you have fun with your fam, but it's going to be over. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to get you out of here. And guess what? We ain't backing down this time. Taylor's over here. Oh, that's what you think, huh? You're not going to get rid of me. And you know how these face-offs get. They can get tense. And, well, Taylor pushes them. And they got to try to, ooh, they got to try to separate them all. It's going down. It's getting crazy out here. After this face-off, Elena comes and talks to him. And she's saying, who are you? Taylor, that's not you. He's saying, man, it's a face-off. It gets intense there. She's saying, but that's not who you are. You're not built like that. You're more of a cool, calm, collective. Go in there, use your brain type of fighter. Let the destroyer, let Ibrahim talk all that nonsense. That's not you. She's trying to keep him humbled and in his lane. But he's saying all the great fighters, Conor McGregor, everyone, they talk trash. But what she is saying, and you know she's a professional also, she's like, but that ain't you. You don't need to do all of that. So she's the one trying to keep him level-headed. And you know most of the time you're going to listen to your old lady, especially when they have this advice and they know you could potentially get hurt. Everyone's getting ready for the fight. Boss is saying, where's Nico at? Bilal was saying, we're going to be late because of. But Boss, he's been peeping what we've been peeping. He said, you got to watch this guy, Nico. You may say he's your brother, but as you start moving up and he's being stagnant, he might not be in your best interest. He's always stirring stuff up. So Nico comes out on Instagram Live talking about, yeah, what's up, guys? We got the champ right here. Basically, he is clout chasing, taking all the fame. We don't see Taylor online doing any of this. That's why Boss is saying this guy might be a distraction. He might not be good at all. Once they get to the arena to get ready for this fight, we start to see exactly what Boss was talking about. Once they're going down the red carpet, walking to get back to where they need to be, he's over here shaking people's hand, chanting, yeah, yeah, we're going to do it. So Taylor talks to him, pulls him to the side. Hey, man, you got to know your role. You got to know where you're at. Right now, you're here to support me. This isn't your fame. We don't need you to hype this up. We got that taken care of. Be here to support me. But then we hear Nico say, what? You think I'm going to take your thunder? You think I'm going to take your fame? When it's my turn, this is what I'm going to do. Well, when it's your turn, we'll worry about that. But right now, let's focus on Taylor. It's time for the fight. The Destroyer is walking out to the ring. He's getting his... Vaseline put on. He's getting looked at by the referees before he actually enters in the ring. He's focused. He wants to end this tonight. He doesn't care who Taylor comes out with, what his intro song is. It doesn't matter. It's over with tonight. Now it's Taylor's turn to walk out. But when Taylor gets there, before he leaves, he starts to freeze up. He doesn't think he can go through it. Well, he's having flashbacks. That PTSD is kicking in. He's laying on the ground. He's just remembering what happened to him, and he tells Boss, I can't do it. They forfeit the match. Boss goes and tells the organizer, yeah, we can't do it. He's not coming out. So they tell the media that it's an injury, and he can't fight tonight. Man, that PTSD is real. He didn't realize it until he actually got up here and was about to go out there and maybe meet his maker. And of course, Ibrahim is not passing up an opportunity. Anyone that still has faith in Taylor, you can go ahead and stop that now. He didn't want to fight me. He's scared. There's no injury. He's talking cash money. But of course, when you the champ and the person you're supposed to fight ain't showing up, you can say what you got to say. But you hear all the commentators, this is personal. And in the back in the locker room, Taylor and his crew is watching it. But boss is like, turn that off, man. You don't need to hear none of that right now. Ibrahim, he's gloating. He's the destroyer. He won this time. The only thing is, after the fight, Boss sends Ibrahim a message. He's saying, I know about you. If you attack anyone at my gym, if you come over here and stir up anything, I'll notify the police. Because it turns out he has a photo of Ibrahim and his crew. They whooped on this lady. She is brutally beaten. And he sent her the photo to Ibrahim and says, you do anything to my crew, to my gym, I'm turning this in. So Ibrahim, he's looking over at his manager like, man, it's nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. 
Uh, 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 he nervous. He can't even explain what the hell is going on, but he can't bring up this photo. From here, boss is saying, listen, I thought you were prepared for this, but I low key knew you weren't prepared for this. So ride with me, we gonna get you right. You know, because this PTSD is real. And if you really wanna get in that ring and show your worth, then we gotta go out there and make it happen. Now, Taylor doesn't know where they're exactly going, but they're headed off. You know, boss has been in these streets. Boss he used to be the man at one point. He may not have been as big as the champions, but he was a pro and he knows a few things around the city. He takes Taylor to an invite only underground fight club, steel cage, no rules, no time, no rounds. You just fight until it's over with. Now, the reason boss brought him down here is because you got to overcome your fears. If you really want to continue to be in this sport, then this is where you got to be. Now, I'm just like Taylor. I'm not expecting to take it this far. You want me to get in here and do some some bare knuckle fighting with these hooligans. But boss said, if you really want to make it, then this is what you got to do. You got to go through the gauntlet. Taylor gets in the ring and he's up nervous. They show his hands shaking. He fighting in sweatpants and a t-shirt. So you got to watch out because if someone grabs your shirt, they can use that to choke you out. Remember, there's no rules in this. They can push you against the cage. People can grab you. They're pushing you back into the ring. So this is some very dangerous ish. Let me tell you, I would not be in this ring. You know how it go. It starts off slow for Taylor. That's how his fighting style is. He's running around the cage a little bit. People are pushing him, grabbing him, but then they get to tussling. Old boy's getting some good punches in, but Taylor starts to counter him because this is different than having a referee in there. You're literally fighting for your life in here. Anything can happen. This guy almost stomped his head out, but miraculously, he gets up out of it. He gets them down. Taylor commences to throw in punches. Boom, 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 boom. They got to come in here and break it up. Remember, there's no rest, but he's beating this guy so bad. Boss had to come here and grab him up off. And everyone's looking around like, man, hey, man, you done took it too far, man. It's over with. So as they get chased about the ring, they're fighting people off. It's just Boss and Taylor. They're getting out of here because they didn't took it too far. Remember, this place had no rules, but... Once somebody's knocked out, you gotta just leave them alone. We got a little bit of integrity, but Taylor zoned out and now they're fighting people off. But as they're fighting people off to try to get out of here, boss ends up getting stabbed by some random person in the crowd. Everyone's looking, who did that? But no one cares. They're throwing bottles. They're chasing them up these stairs. Oh man, all hell is broke loose in here. Hell in a cell, this is hell everywhere. They finally make it up the stairs. They lock the door, people outside trying to kick it in. We see that boss is stabbed up. Oh my goodness. He's like, oh, we made it out of there. Good. He's like, boss, are you all right? He's like, ah, don't worry about it. Just leave me. But of course, Taylor's not going to leave him. He tries to call the police. I don't know where we're at, but we need, we need emergency assistance right now. Help, help, help. Man, it looks like boss is losing too much blood. Taylor, at least he won the fight, but it looks like we're about to lose boss. All right, there you go. Episode four. What do you think about this fight club? If you were Taylor, would you have went down there? After I looked in there and seen that they fight in this cage, I'm like, what are we doing? Just watching, seeing <laughs> the fight in these people's eyes? Cause I'm not getting in there. And if they stabbed up coach, would you leave coach or would you call for medical assistance? Let me know what you think I'm Mo J. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for episode five of the five day recaps of the cage on Netflix. I'm Mo J. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.